Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. We head to Boone, North Carolina. In the Nike hot seat today is a young man who will be graduating soon. He is a senior wrestling for App State, Vito Pizzone. Vito, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Scott? I'm good, man. You've had, uh, I'd, I'd say, a pretty great junior and senior uh, campaign combined. Uh, you've got some outstanding numbers to post. You've got some outstanding victories, uh, pins, tech falls, and majors. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, feeling really good. Uh, you know, the uh, NWCA duels coming up, and uh, really excited to uh, finish the season and see where I finish up. Yeah, so you have the, the NWCA duels, and I believe, is Indiana coming there? Yes, sir. Indiana yeah. will be visiting on campus, and I, I don't recall the last time the uh, App State has wrestled a Big Ten school, but uh, no matter what, like you and I were talking earlier, uh, it's an opportunity for you to, to wrestle and get it done. Uh, let's talk about uh, your coach, head coach, John Mark Bentley. Um, obviously, he's somebody that uh, is an able-bodied leader. What's he like as a coach for you? Oh, he's a great coach. Um, very, uh, very driven and uh, expects uh, hardworking and dedicated wrestlers. And it was the ty type of atmosphere I definitely needed and can thrive under. And, uh, you know, as a team, we, uh, we have all gelled around what he's trying to build culture-wise. And, uh, you know, the team chemistry and uh, the team atmosphere is better than it's ever been in you, my tenure here. You've had some outstanding performances at the Southern Scuffle. Uh, if I go back to even, you know, the Wilkes Open and Newberry Open and Cumberland Open, I mean, you, do you consider yourself a better wrestler in, in a tournament situation or a dual meet situation? I'd say tournaments, yeah. Um, I, I, it's something I've always done better in, and, uh, you know, you're able to, uh, the toughest guys wrestle the best tournaments and uh, put together the best uh, showcase. And, uh, you know, historically, tournaments have always been my... Uh, you know, my strengths as opposed to dual meets. We're talking with Vito Pisone, the third. He is the third Vito in his family. I like that. Out of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, an area well known for its wrestling prowess. How old were you when you started? Um, let's see. I was in uh, second grade, actually, when I started. So Now, you have a younger brother as well, Colin, right? Yes, sir. And is Colin wrestling? He's a senior in high school now, uh, ranked... Uh, Ranked in the state of Pennsylvania, but uh, he, he won't be wrestling in college. He actually gave a verbal uh, commitment to play baseball at Dominican College in New York. It's a Division two school, but he's really excited about it. Well, cool for him. And, and uh, Sharon and Vito, uh, your dad, are, are supportive of that, huh? Oh, absolutely. Um, anytime they get to see us uh, try to uh, accomplish our goals and you know, dreams of ours, I mean, it's something that they enjoy watching for sure. Talk about prepping for the SoCon. I know my buddy Ryan Lang is going to be announcing uh, prepping for the SoCon. I don't want you to look past Indiana, but prepping for the SoCon tournament uh, is something uh, I'm sure that you guys are all keyed up about. This is uh, a big tournament for the Southern Conference. How do you prep for something like this? Um, well, like you said first, we uh, we have one task at hand, and that's Indiana. And then uh, after that, then uh, you know our, all sites will be set towards uh, Charleston and. Uh, you know, our coaches do a great job with uh, making sure that we're uh, well-rested and well-prepared and we're clicking at the right time and, you know, things are uh, things are fitting well for us. So, I mean, if we're able to wrestle like we're capable of, there's no reason that we shouldn't bring a good amount of guys, you know, most of our lineup to the NCAA tournament. And, uh, you know, I have that strong belief and confidence in our team as well as our coaching staff. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be really exciting as a team. At 125 pounds and five foot four, you're amazingly strong, well-rounded top to bottom, from your toes all the way up to the tip of your head. Um, have you always been athletically gifted? Oh, I wouldn't know about athletically gifted. When it comes to, you know, gifts on the team and stuff, I, I fall short of that one. But no, I've I've actually always been one of those kids that uh, worked for things that he had. Um, you know, when I was in high school and younger, uh, a lot of things I did, you know, um, strength and ability-wise came f on my own until actually uh, we – I was actually fortunate enough to uh, have a great coaching staff in high school with uh, lifting and, uh, 
yoga and stuff like that to help me. So, I mean, it definitely uh, was a lot of work, so it didn't come natural. Who are your buddies on the team? Who do you hang out with a lot, or are you guys truly a family? Uh, we're really a family. Um, you know, I live with uh, five other wrestlers right now in a duplex, and uh, you know, before that, um, you know, two other wrestlers before that. It, uh, but we always come together. We, uh, you know, warm weather comes around, we uh, we have dinners over our house uh, or go somewhere else, watch a you know watch a sporting event together. But uh, the team chemistry is is very strong. You know, nobody's left out, and everybody gets along with, with each other and you know we we enjoy each other's company i know you guys celebrated like crazy when you finished the season perfect seven and oh on the year in the socon uh when you go back and regather at the at the shelter as it were at the house uh you guys talk about that type of thing or is wrestling off the table or what's the what's the um What's the temperature like in your house right now? <laughs> well, I actually live with uh, our other 125 pounder. He was he's one of my roommates in the duplex. So, you know, we like to push each other's buttons a little bit just because it's our nature and stuff. I mean, he's one of my best friends here. And, uh, you know, after the match, he uh, was joking with me a little bit on, you know, I thought you should have teched him or <laughs> you know, should have got the pin. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we always talk about wrestling at the house for sure, um, unless we're too busy and doing schoolwork. But yeah, it's always something that we uh, we have in common. And what is first. what is your major? Uh, well, I'm actually in graduate school now. Um, I graduated last May with right. a degree in history, secondary education. Okay. And, uh, I'm pursuing a master's right now in higher education. Outstanding. Coming up uh, February 19th, that's this Sunday, 3 o'clock, the Varsity Gym, Indiana, comes to town. And it's another opportunity to improve on the 7-0 and perfect season record for you guys. And there's a certain amount of pride in that. i got to ask you about one particular guy that seems to contribute quite a bit to the team, and I'm talking about Den Denzel DeJournay. Um, he's, he's a big man. <laughs> yeah, he's a... Uh... He's definitely uh, a leader for sure, and Denzel was uh, Denzel was another very very good friend of mine, one of my best friends for sure. Um, let's see, we we were the same recruiting class, so we spent five years together going through the program. And I'll tell you what, he's an inspiration. He he does the extra work, and uh, you know he does what people don't. Um, you know, he's that guy in the background that's doing the extra work that people aren't seeing. And you know, when he started to uh, when things started to click for him a few years ago, I mean that was. That was amazing in itself and was an inspiration for me to, you know, seek something better of myself and question with what I was doing, was it really enough? And it wasn't. And it challenged me to actually uh, do extra work and, uh, you know, try to uh, stride and compete with him and do better than him. And, you know, he's definitely a huge asset to the team and a great, great leader. And, uh, you know, it, we're going to miss him, you know, and when he's gone for sure. Vito Pizzone's been our guest today in the Nike Hot Seat. Vito, not often we get the chance to thank people, surely in a broadcast situation, but uh, for your career, where you've been very successful and obviously a, uh, a leader for the team. Who, who do you want to thank? Um, definitely my parents, for sure. I mean, without them, I wouldn't be uh, in the spot I am today. And you know, I was definitely blessed to have have a great family as a whole with grandparents, my brothers, my sister, uh, or brother and sister, my grand or aunts and uncles, and uh, also my high school coaches. Um, their father and son coaches. They uh, definitely trained me in high school to be prepared for college as best as I can be, as well as my, uh, you know, the uh, assistants with them. Uh, you know, our lifting coach, um, and then the coaches here. Um, you know, they they. Everybody has invested a lot of uh, time and, uh, you know, definitely time in me. And uh, I, I can't thank them enough. And uh, it's honestly a blessing. He notched 147 victories in his high school career. Remember the Keystone Brawlers? E.L. Myers was his high school in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. This, uh, well, now graduated senior into his graduate program at five foot four, 125 pounds. Look for him to light things up against Indiana this Sunday. In the gym, and I tell you what, I, I really, I'm looking forward to it because I know you want to go out with a uh, stamp uh, from the National Duels and then turn your attention to the SOCON Championships. Again, another opportunity, and then one more beyond that. 
And that, of course, young man, is an opportunity to wrestle in St. Louis, Missouri at the NCAA Championships. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it, too. Hoping for the best. Outstanding interview. Thank you so much for joining us in the Nike Hot Seat today, Vito. No problem. Thanks for having me. Vito Pisson the third has been our guest today in the Nike Hot Seat. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper. Thanks for watching.